Evening at 6, the community is coming together to support the family members of a fallen, count, fallen Spalding County deputy tonight. Sergeant Mark McIntyre, McIntyre was shot and killed while responding to a domestic call Friday morning. Atlanta News First reporter Brittany Ford has more tonight on how local businesses are now stepping up to help. Well, the owner here at Corner Cafe says Sergeant McIntyre was a regular at his restaurant. His business is now one of several who are ensuring his family is taken care of during this difficult time. The loss of Sergeant Mark McIntyre has touched the entire Griffin community. Guy with, with a huge heart. I mean, he was such a awesome guy, you know, good asset to the community. Juan Diaz, owner of Corner Cafe in downtown Griffin, is a longtime family friend. I was made a point to come talk to me, you know, or say, hey, how you doing? You know, how's it going? How's business? You know, things like that, you know, I'm just, you know, always humble. His business, one of several stepping up to support McIntyre's family. In the coming week, he's planning to host two Spirit Night fundraisers. I know the family personally. I've known them basically since I was a kid. So I would, we want to make sure that we do our part and the community is doing the same. On Saturday, family and friends gathered in downtown Griffin for a vigil in McIntyre's honor. And that man lived volumes. The 12-year veteran of the Spalding County Sheriff's Office was shot and killed while responding to a domestic call Friday morning. The shooting led to an hours-long standoff at this home on Deason Street with the suspect 57-year-old Todd Harper, who is now in custody. The fundraiser is one of the latest efforts the community is doing to wrap their arms around McIntyre's family. Tragic loss, you know, for our community and his family and friends, his department. In downtown Griffin, Brittany Ford, Atlanta News First. We also